Good morning, y'all. Love my y'all. <laughs> um, Mag. Right. So I have just filmed styling my horrible short bob. <laughs> but I don't know when you're going to see it. Maybe we should vote because I have three videos ready to go. So when I knew that Max was moving out, one week I've recorded a few videos so I didn't have to do it while we were packing and doing all the stuff. So I, you need to vote which video you want to see first. So I tell you what I've got. Um, I've got my new eyebrow routine. Then I have derma planning shaving your face i did a demo and everything that i do because i think it's a very very important step in our skincare and my hair so as it goes right now this is the last video but i can put them in any order you want so if you want to vote which video in what order you want to see them so it's brows let's do brows shaving so the derma planning will be shaving or hair and i will see which one you want to see first look my hair is growing right i'm still i still have a cold so today is tuesday so when you will be seeing this video on monday hopefully i'll be fine then but yeah i've had this cold from last friday i think paul gave it to me and i'm actually feeling better today my nose i have such phobia um, of not being able to breathe so i probably have told you this story a long time ago Years and years ago, I've suffered with sinusitis constantly. I used to take antibiotics. I used to get sinusitis probably twice a year, but I mean, really bad. My sinuses would be so blocked that if I had my mouth shut, I couldn't even eat because if I was swallowing, I had no air coming from anywhere. So about... I would say 18 years ago, I had the operation because I had a CT scan and my I had polyps in my nose. So if I got infection, everything would swell up and there was no pocket of air in my sinuses. And after that operation, although I had infection afterwards and I thought it didn't work, but after that, I never had sinusitis till probably, do you remember, I had one about four, five years ago, it was really bad, but that operation sorted me out. But I used to have such phobia of not being able to breathe because it's, it's just horrible. You, it feels like you are suffocating. Um, and I have it to this day, I get like a panic attack. So I would be using Sinex, you know, the, that uh, spray in your nose that shrinks all the blood vessels and then you can breathe. But if you use it for too long, longer than a week, and I was using it for months at the time, you cause something that is called rebound congestion. It's almost like an addiction that the more you use it, the more you swell and you have to use more and more and um, that was horrible so that operation sorted it all out and i haven't used sinex since till now so i started having sore throat you know like stuff running from your nose down back back your throat had a bit of a cough i, f I feel fine i didn't have temperature or anything just the nose and the throat and a bit of a cough and after about three days i got blocked so panic panic i had no sinex paul went and got me some so i have to use it like at least twice a day definitely before i go to bed because i'm paranoid that i'm gonna suffocate when i'm asleep um I'm just feeling I'm getting blocked up again. So when you see this video of me doing the hair, I probably will sound like this. 
um, so not that I'm ill again, but that's when I filmed this video. Um, so yesterday I started using my neti pot, you know, to rinse my nose with the saline solution. So I used it yesterday and today. And I must say, last night my nose was awful. I just couldn't breathe. I had to put so much of that Sinex in. Um, and this morning I woke up feeling much better, but I can feel my nose is getting blocked again but hopefully i'm going to go as long as i can without spraying anything so i don't get myself into that rebound congestion situation again so why am i telling you all this oh because i sound like this but i feel fine i feel okay it's just my nose is so red from blowing it constantly I've been using every night the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream around my nose and that helps so much because normally by now I would have like really crusty red nose but that 8 hour cream really helps. And when you've got makeup on you have to be very careful how you blow your nose and just like blow it in the air and dab it <laughs> not to take your makeup off. I don't care in the evening, I just my nose looks like Rudolph the reindeer. Okay, wanted to show you something that I've bought. I've been looking at this for months and months. And I thought, it's so expensive, do I really need it? And I'm talking about the T3 curling wand. They are very expensive, but I've watched some reviews and people rave, the, rave about them. I had one that was, I don't know, £30 from Amazon. And it was fine, it does the job. But when I use this, it's amazing. I'm not saying you really need it because the cheaper ones will do the job, but I don't know, there is something about the ceramic wand. I love it that the wand is so long. This bit here is cool, so you can hold it by the end of it. And also what I loved about it, they sell them in all sorts of different combinations. So this is the 12 convertible. So basically, you get the base and that came with the fatter one, I think, yeah. It came with this one, one and a quarter inch. And then you can buy different size ones that will go in here, which I thought it was genius idea. There is another set that you get this and three different ones, but there was only one one that I wanted in it, the other two I didn't want. So, so the reason I bought it is because <laughs> honestly, now and again, I would look at it and I've had it in my basket so many times and then didn't buy it. But I went on the actual T3 website and they had a discount. So I got, because then I also bought, oh my God, can't speak, I'm thinking too fast. So I bought this and then I bought myself a bit thinner one. This one is... This is one inch and this is one and a quarter. So I bought these two and all to, I can't remember how much each was, but altogether I saved almost hundred pounds. It's still expensive, but I thought hundred pounds, that's a lot. I think it was 92 or something pounds I saved by buying these two and I am so happy. So this is so easy. So I like this barrel because this one will give you not very tight curls and more volume and this for tighter curls. And also it's nice to mix two different sizes of curls and this works like a dream. Like my other one curled fine but it sometimes felt like it wasn't so smooth when I was taking my hair out. This is so smooth. And this is so easy. You just line this up, she says. That's it. And then you turn this bit to lock it and it's done. Then you hold your finger on here till it starts cascading, let it go, and you will go to the highest heat. So you've got two, four, five dots, five being the hottest. 
um, it comes with all the instructions and then if you want to change um, the heat I think you double click and you see cascading and you click to stop on whatever heat you want love it so this is so nice and comfortable it's just amazing so I am really really happy with it like I said it is expensive but I feel so good that I've saved like almost 100 pounds now they don't seem to be selling any pouches or anything to hold it in I buy these silicone pouches they come in different colors from Amazon so I put my tool inside and when I'm working then I can rest it on here they are not expensive I have about four of them because I have straighteners in one I have something else in the other so I just use this wind this around and then the other one I keep hang on let me do this so there is one and then I put this spare bar although the barrel would fit with the other one but I don't want them to scrape each other so there so I am very very happy with this I also wanted to tell you about these um these are Shiseido Beauty Up Cotton. They are cotton squares for taking your makeup off. But they are so beautiful, like a cloud. You know the rounds that you buy, they feel a bit rough. These are lovely. And I buy them on Amazon. They last me for ages. How many do you get here? Something like 200 or something. So... They are squares and they are so, so soft. They are similar to, if you do gel nails, to the squares that you use for your nails, but these have lint in them. The other ones are lint free, so are not as soft. But this is so soft and they are quite big as well. So I love these. I buy them all the time and I, I don't use it much for all over my face because I remove my makeup with balm and like a cloth but I use them to go over with micellar water over my eyes and if I use toner or something like that I also bought, because you can get them on Amazon now the All Clean Balm from Hamish I love this balm so I try cleansing balms all the time different cleansing balms and um, I like the clinic take the take the day off but I think I really prefer this one it's beautiful it just melts into your skin like butter and you can use it on your eyes so I cleanse with that first and then I will, you have to double cleanse with the with balm because balm will leave, you know, greasy. It's not really greasy, but it's not like, I don't know how to explain. You don't want to leave any residue. So then I cleanse with CeraVe um, cleanser or I have the Nip and Fab glycolic cleanser. You know, I've done my skincare routine, so I do that and that also i've bought new misla water from la roche posay i've been using till now the garnier one and i like it but oh my god this is so much better so when i've taken my makeup off even of my eyes i still have some mascara residue because you've seen me i put like 20 coats of mascara on so i put this on one of those squares and I gently take it off and that is wonderful like I said Garnier is fine but somehow I feel this is much much better so I think I'm going to be using this one from now on it's the Missla Ultra Missla Water Ultra right I'm getting really blocked now but I'm going to wait till I can't breathe before I put that thing in okay so Max's bedroom, I need to have it redecorated. We found around to find 
a decorator, painter and decorator, and most of them are busy till November. You just can't get anybody. I suppose it's spring, everybody is redecorating houses. And also, I think they are not keen because I just want one small room done. They like to have a nice big job where they do the whole house. Um, you might remember I had my house decorated about two years ago or painted, but we couldn't do Max's bedroom because he was just after the lockdown, first lockdown, and everybody was working from home and Max had huge desk in there with lots of monitors. He couldn't just move to another room to work, you know, and we were having the whole house done. So there was a mess everywhere. So we never got to do Max's room. And that's so annoying because I would be fine now. And I think I need to change carpet in there. Or maybe I'll, I'll put a floor down there, up there. I don't know. So... This morning I was standing there looking at it and I thought maybe I can do it myself. I mean it'll be a lot of work because he's been you know hanging things on the walls there so there are holes everywhere. I would have to fill it all in and smooth it and I don't know. I just know it's a big job. I've done his bedroom myself before. I remember when he was much much younger Paul went away for a week with work somewhere abroad and Max was at school so it took me two days but there wasn't much feeling to do or anything he was just basically repainting it but this time there is so much more to do so I don't know if I'm I'm gonna carry on looking for someone or I just should get it together and do it I don't know Oh, can't breathe now. Right, I better go because I'm finding it difficult to talk now because I can't breathe. At least I managed to do this video without with still being able to breathe. All right, my lovelies, I will see you later. Hello, my lovelies. We are out for something to eat. This is first time in a very long time that we've come out. We didn't bring Louis and now we regret it because um, it's really quiet. We've come out quite early and he could have been running around here. But we will just have something quick to eat and get back to him. Yeah, it's very nice. I have a glass of wine. Paul's just going to order some food. Good morning, my lovelies. Busy day today. So I am going now to a charity shop to drop off some clothes and shoes. So I've done my, you know, yearly swap of clothes. So I brought down my um, summer clothes. And I have obviously got rid of quite a lot last year because there isn't that much, which I'm quite pleased with. It feels so much better not having so much stuff. So I'm doing that. Then I have something to return. And I am going to a DIY shop to buy all the supplies ready for me to decorate Max's room. So I'm doing it. I think I'm going to go and order carpet as well. New carpet. Um, it's quite daunting. Not that I've never done painting before, but I've tasked myself with doing it properly. Like I'm going to empty this room and fill every hole and prep it really, really well. So it will take me probably three days or something like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And at the weekend, we are going to see our friends. Remember the ones that used to be my neighbors, they moved away. And whenever we go abroad, we leave Louis with them. So we have to drive all the way to Bormos to drop Louis off. We haven't seen, seen them. I think we've seen them last, after the first lockdown, something like that. So we haven't seen them for such a long time. So that would be nice and Louis can reunite with Lola. You, do you remember Lola? They have a little Shih Tzu, she's really little. 
his girlfriend they sort of been brought up together they were both puppies when um, my friends were still living next door to me so that would be nice right I am feeling of course anxious about this decorating um, but uh, I'll be fine I'm sure it'll be lovely I will have a sense of achievement once I've done it hello my lovelies I haven't vlogged much this week because I have been decorating Max's bedroom so I've decided to do it myself it was so much work what I haven't finished it took me two days just to prepare it uh, because he made so many holes in a wall there were huge holes small holes so I had to fill it all one day then sand it the next day um, and today right now we are going to Bournemouth to see our friends Louis is at the front now in his uh, seat with the window open because the traffic is quite bad so we're driving quite slow but we feel like he's a bit better I show you what I've got so I kept researching you know something to calm him down and I came across this website the Vince the Vet it's here in the UK Vince the Vet and this is for travel and anxiety uh, these are like natural drops they have a bit of alcohol in them though um, but the reviews were great and you're supposed to just put a drop on your finger and then rub it on their gums not gums their lips every hour so I did it about three times this morning and he seemed to be calmer but we don't know if it's really this or it's just different today I don't know but it seems to work so and he loves looking out the window see if I can show him to you there it is. <laughs> So we are going to see our friends. Hopefully we will go on a beach. The weather is beautiful. Sure. Yeah, but um, the traffic is very slow because the next, the motorway is shut from the, uh, between two junctions. So we obviously will take us on an alternative route. But it's just our luck. Whenever we go anywhere, there is always something wrong on the motorway. So tomorrow I'm going to start painting the bedroom and I would like to finish it tomorrow but I'm not sure if I will, depends, it's not a big bedroom so it shouldn't take me that long but if it needs two coats then I have to wait in between coats to dry. Alright my lovelies, I will see you later, hopefully on the beach. I don't know if we will go because it's nice weather, it might be really busy and sometimes there is nowhere to park so we will see go, go. Lola. Lola. go 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 Becky, thank God I've got that huge blanket. <laughs> Why does she keep sliding down? Are you cooling your tummy? Are you cooling your tummy, Lola? What is she doing, Louie? Get her. <laughs> it's a long way to the water. She's coming. <laughs> Lola, are you going to lie down again? Come on. Hey. <laughs> Lower. 
but Lola had her mad, mad 20 seconds. Oh, lay down. Did <laughs> you see her run around? Good morning. I am painting. Look at this wall. This is the wall. They had so many little holes because Max was collecting Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels cars and he was pinning them into that wall. So I had to fill all that in. I'm painting the ceiling right now. It's very hard. I don't like doing the ceiling. But, um, yes, I want him to see it. Hopefully on Monday I will be finished. Uh, because he comes here every day, almost every day for lunch. So I see him all the time. Uh, and I said, you know, you can stay here whenever you want. So I want him to see it when I've done it. Probably won't be to his um, taste. Because it would be probably more girly that he would like. Um, but I just wanted really to say goodbye. Sorry, I've been honestly so busy this week with all of it that vlogging is like afterthought. So I just wanted to say have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.